Seven Continents for Kids. You're about to embark on an amazing journey. A journey that will take you across the world to every corner of the Earth, where you'll learn all about giant land masses that make up our home planet. I'm not talking about neighborhoods, cities, towns, states, or even countries. I'm talking about continents. Continents are giant land masses separated by seas or oceans that make up all the land on our planet. Every piece of land on Earth is part of a continent, and there are seven of them. You may already know that if you live in the United States or Canada or Mexico, you live on the continent known as North America. North America is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the Pacific Ocean on the west. See that red dot? That dot sits right in the United States, which also happens to be right in the middle of North America. Now see the dot? What country is that? That's right, Canada. Canada is also part of North America and lies directly north of the United States. Where's the dot now? Smack dab in the middle of Mexico, which is also part of North America. The Rocky Mountains, the Great Lakes, parts of the Arctic, the Caribbean countries, the Everglades of Florida, and the redwood forests of California are all part of North America. North America is a big continent, coming in at about 9.5 million square miles. It's home to almost 600 million people, and it's made up of 23 countries, including the U.S., Canada, Mexico, a bunch of Central American countries like Costa Rica, Panama, and Guatemala, and the Caribbean Islands. But guess what? While it's big, it's only the third largest continent in the world. So, what are the continents of the world? And what does it mean to be a continent? In all, there are seven continents on Earth. A continent does not have a mayor, or a king, or a president. In fact, nobody runs continents. Continents are made up of countries, and those individual countries have leaders, people, animals, landscapes, houses, rivers, lakes, mountains, and basically everything on earth that you can find on land. There's no piece of land on the planet that isn't part of some continent. So check it out. These are the seven continents, numbered one to seven. We already told you about North America, but what about the other continents? Well, as you might be able to see, Asia is the largest continent on our planet at more than 17 million square miles. While North America has 23 countries, Asia has more than double that. Some of the most notable countries in Asia are China, Russia, India, Japan, South and North Korea, Vietnam, and many others. The Middle East? Yep, that's part of Asia. If you've ever visited the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, Mount Everest, or the Swat Valley in Pakistan, then you've been to Asia. The second largest continent on Earth is Africa at a whopping 11.7 million square miles. Africa has a lot of countries, 54 to be exact, with a large variety of climates. The northern part of Africa has a lot of big sprawling deserts. The middle is known for its rainforests and a variety of animal life, and the southern part of Africa can get pretty cold in the winter. You may have heard of Kenya, Egypt, Ethiopia, Morocco, and Tanzania, all in Africa. The Sahara Desert and the longest river in the world, the Nile, are here. So are Mount Kilimanjaro, the Egyptian Pyramids, the Serengeti, and Victoria Falls. Of course, in Africa, you've got your giraffes, zebra, lions, hippos, and some of the fastest animals in the world, like cheetahs, gazelles, and wildebeest. But when it comes to animal species, 
There's no place like South America, which is the fourth largest continent on Earth. South America is famous for its Amazon rainforest, which produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It would be hard for all of us to breathe without the Amazon. It's also home to an amazing 10% of all animal species. South America is almost 7 million square miles, has 14 countries, and is home to about 423 million people. Some of the countries you can find in South America are Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Venezuela, and Ecuador, which gets its name because the equator cuts right through it. Spanish is the most common language spoken in South America, although they speak Portuguese in Brazil, which is the continent's largest country. South America also has the Andes Mountains, the world's largest mountain range. And if you've ever climbed Mount Aconcagua, stood by the edge of Iguazu Falls, or overlooked Machu Picchu, you've been to South America. The number five continent in the world is Antarctica, which is home to, well, ice. It's actually 98% ice, lots of ice and snow, and virtually no people. The only people that are brave enough to experience the brutal conditions in Antarctica are the researchers that go out there to study it. After all, it is the windiest and coldest place on Earth. But while there are no people, there are a lot of penguins. By some estimates, 12 million of them live in Antarctica. At 5.4 million square miles, it's just one giant continent with no countries. The South Pole, sometimes called the bottom of the Earth, can be found in Antarctica. Next, we head way up north to Europe, the sixth largest continent on Earth. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in people. At just under 4 million square miles, it has over 740 million residents. Some of the most well-known countries in the world are in Europe, such as France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain. All in all, there are 44 countries in Europe. The smallest country, the Vatican City, is located in the heart of Rome and is actually only the size of a small suburban neighborhood. Europe has Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, the Roman Colosseum, the Parthenon, and lots of other famous tourist attractions. Finally, we've got the continent of Australia, also known as the Down Under. At about 3 million square miles, Australia is the only continent that is also a country. The approximately 25 million people of Australia speak English as their primary language. Australia has a large population of native people called Aborigines. What famous thing do you most associate with Australia? The boomerang, the koala, the kangaroo, the Sydney Opera House? Australia does have a lot of really unique things like the outback, which is a vast, remote part of the continent, also known as the bush. If you want to come face to face with venomous snakes, thorny devils, or dingoes, the outback is for you. So there you have it, all seven continents in a nutshell. When put together, all seven continents on Earth are home to our planet's 195 countries. All the trees, deserts, mountains, and other land features. Amazingly, when put together, those continents only add up to about 30% of the surface of the Earth. The rest are oceans and seas and bays. But we're not going to dive into that now. That's a lesson for another time. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. For more free resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.